Hey everyone, Damien Kiljoy here, and I'm playing The Wolf Among Us, and the girl from before was murdered. She got her head cut off. Yay. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. How long are we upstairs? you doing better to be thorough sure just hurry up we don't have much time we should move her before anyone shows up we'll find out more at the business office she'll be in the books I'm sure of it Big P do you have any idea what's going on how did this happen by her. This is a message. Fucking asshole. A message? I'll tell you that. I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time. But just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. A symbol? I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Hmm. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Swinehart? I actually liked that girl. She was pretty cool. Except for the fact that she took fifty like eight dollars from me. But you know, there's that. See, there's a line. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Such a douchebag. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. 
The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost okay. someone their life and the safety of the entire community. I, I Tell me you've been guy. doing something. Already. Are there any leads? Suspects? Such a douche. Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Uh, the wolf among yes. us. Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Oh my god. Do your job, Sheriff. I would love to just we'll beat find the someone shit out of can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't going to say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, <laughs> thankfully. Who's... it's a flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> I like the green monkey. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. What the hell? He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Like we'll at least I'm be able to get the to real name from the books at. whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Ha! <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. You really have to get this appointment <laughs> squared away. But I love this. Let me know if you need anything. Hello. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience I love this. is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? <laughs> yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. 
the woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? No shit. I'm sorry, <laughs> Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Oh, he needs so much no help. Right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. That was so helpful. Well, Freaking I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Can you freaking drunk? Oh, the genie. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father. Or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Hmm. Let's go look in the book of symbols. Was she Cinderella? That's weird. If she'd be. can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo. I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buff uh, skin. We don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. 
the queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh. Shit. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Hmm. Get to play detective. This will be fun. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. <laughs> totally. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Mm. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Seems like we're gonna go there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. He's dead. Okay, that works. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Huh. Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me... Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, oh, her come on. concealed. Unfortunately for you, these so lips sealed. are sealed. What? These lips are oh, sealed. Oh, come on, I don't want to listen to this. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Exit. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I. Bigby, it's for you. Okay then. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna Something go... Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Hmm. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. 
Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. This game's a little weird, but I like it. It's pretty cool. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? <coughs> I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh. Big B, it's me, Toad. Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Uh, let's go help Toad. Let's go see what Toad Toad sounds in. like he needs help right now. We can check in on... Ah, <laughs> glass slipper shoes. <laughs> okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Okay, more loading screens. the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Hmm. Is somebody up there? It's white. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was yeah. someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? 
I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. He's hiding something. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. Just want to check things out first. All right, all right. Uh, I just don't want to waste your time as well. Oh yeah. Uh, have a sure. seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown ups. Am I right? Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Such a douche. <laughs> Why is, like, everyone such a douche in this? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? <laughs> Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Yeah, right, Toad. It's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. He doesn't have a cut. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. but like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wade, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand <laughs> Horrible first, liar. and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... You're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Oh, no, bullshit, Honest. you're bullshitting. We'll see.
that more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. The Clean lamp. Enough. The lamp. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing ever. <laughs> Nothing! Bullshit! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Oh, I'm going to find something else, you bastard. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Mm hmm You have... Those look like claw marks. You were the... The new uh, Shaken Stevens album, yet? Junior was home. Why didn't he let you? It was the middle of a sodding night, baby. I'm supposed to wake him because his jammy daddy didn't remember to check his pockets. Bigby, come on. I'm oh, begging for mercy shit. over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... please just bugger off? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, Bullshit. mate. Bullshit. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? The truth. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. What the hell happened, Toad? <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dame or Dee. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum? What? Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a like and a favorite if you enjoyed this. And also, hit that subscribe button down there if you'd like to watch more. It really, all that really helps out the channel. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.